What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys another guide for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl for the Nintendo Switch. So guys, in today's video, we're going to be showcasing how to clone Pokemon and clone held items after the version 1.12 update. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that bigger subscribe button. Seriously, you guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you for all the support that has been going out across the channel. It really does go a long way. But as you guys know, in the most recent Pokemon BDSP update, they've taken away all of the ways that we know how to clone Pokemon. So luckily, we were able to find another one after the update, and we we're going to be showcasing how to do that and every single step in between. So before you can even get started with this, you need three requirements. One is you are going to need Fly, the HM Fly. So make sure you guys have that. Two is you guys are going to need headphones. It will all make sense in a little bit. You're going to want to hear your character move and all that good stuff. Again, it will make sense a little bit. Make sure you guys have headphones and you can hear your character move around. Third and final step is going to be you are going to want to have an empty box. A totally empty box. And for us, we have an empty box in uh, 16 right here. And we're going to want to clone all these Pokemon right here. You can clone whole boxes, all the items inside of it. This thing is absolutely amazing. It is just as good as the last one, but just, I think, a little bit more difficult. But once you learn it, it's pretty simple. It is pretty simple. So step one for this, we're going to get started with the cloning glitch right now, is be in front of any single Pokemon Center. So for me, I'm going to want to be right in front of this one. This one works out perfectly for me. It could be any single one, any of them in the game. Next step, we're going to want to open up our Poketch, go into the hidden move tabs, and hover over fly with our cursor. From here, we're going to want to hit the right bumper and A at the exact same time and constantly do that until the fly menu opens up. So I'm going to keep hitting it, A and R at the same time until the fly menu opens up. So there we go. The fly menu opens up and you are going to know that you did it right if you move your character up and he goes into the Pokemon Center. So let's see if we did it. We did not do it right. We did not do it right. Our character did not move up in the Pokemon Center. So from here, I'm just going to reset myself and go back in front of the Pokemon Center and do that again. So hit R and A at the same time, hovering over fly and trying to do this right so you just constantly do this until your fly menus opens up and i think we got it with that one i think we did get it with that one and we will see by moving up and see if we can move inside the pokemon center there it is we are now inside the pokemon center and that is exactly why i tell you guys you need headphones you need headphones so you can hear your character move around so from here we are inside the pokemon center we can move our character behind this whole fly screen and what we want to actually do is head down the escalator to the right into the union room make our way back out and then back out of the pokemon center in general so I have all the steps written down so you guys know exactly how many movements to use. I personally like to use the D-pad because it moves your character one unit at a time. So I just think it's a lot easier using the D-pad. So to get us started here, we're going to want to move up two tiles. So one, two. I hear my guy moving, so that's perfectly. Next step is you want to go right all the way, well, all the way to the right and down the escalator. So I'm going to constantly move to the right until I hear that myself go down the escalator. There we go. We are down the escalator. Beautiful. Awesome. Great. Next step, we want to go back up the escalator. So we're just going to want to move to the right. There we go. We are now back up the escalator. And then we want to head five steps to the left and all the way down in order to make our way out of the Pokemon Center. So one, two, three, four, five. Should be lined up with the door again. And now just constantly go down and out of the Pokemon Center. There we go. We are now out of the Pokemon Center and back at the original area that we started, which is the fight area. We hear the music, all that good stuff. The next step here is going to probably be the trickiest step, but once you get it down, it is not too hard. And what we want to do is actually move our fly guy around with the right stick. Make sure you're using the right stick here so you don't move your character around. And you're going to want to fly to any city. For this instance, I'm going to be flying to Heartthrome City. I don't know why. I just want to fly to Heartthrome City. It's all good. It's just a main city in here. So I want to fly to it. But before I hit the fly button, I want to hit X right after I hit A. So I'm going to hit A and then I'm going to hit X to open up the menu and be able to fly at the same time. For this, this is a little trick that I like to use. When you hit the A button, wait for the text of the city that you are flying to to pop up. So it's going to say, would you like to fly to? And then it's going to name the city that you were flying to. So once it says, would you like to fly to? And for this instance, we're flying to Hearthrum City. When it says, would you like to fly to Hearthrum City? As that text is lining up, hit the X button and open up the menu. That is how I found this way to work out the best. So like I said, hit A, wait for your city of the text to pop up, and then hit X. So we're going to give this one a try and you guys are going to know that you did it right if your menu pops up and you saw the yes and no menu to fly to that area. So like I said, A then X. Let's give this one a try and little heads up here. If you guys do this one wrong, your game is going to freeze out here and you're going to have to close out your software. So maybe not have said this in the beginning. Make sure you guys have saved. Make sure you guys have saved. But I'm going to hit A. I'm going to hit X and hopefully do this right and my game won't freeze out. We're going to be able to fly to the city with the menu glitch open. So A, wait for my text to pop up, Hearthrum City. 
beautiful we got it we did it perfectly i think you could slow down your your text in the menu to make this thing easier but as you guys can see we have the menu open and right below the mystery gift tab you can see yes or no from here we just want to hit a fly to our city beautiful and pretty much it's smooth sailing from here that was the trickiest part once you get that done you're pretty much kind of done everything else is pretty simple so from here you can still move around the screen and what i like to do is actually uh go inside a building because we're going to be hitting y in our boxes and all that good stuff and i really don't want to trigger the union room opening up while i'm standing in front of that uh pokemon center so i go into a random building it could be any building and then from here we just want to go into our pokemon box we want to just go into our pokemon box and go over any pokemon and just hit a on it we're just gonna want to hit a on it and for this case we're gonna be using our lovely little doubles competitive sable eye right here so i'm gonna want to hit a on him and then x to open up a menu inside of a menu so we have a menu section right here kind of like how the old cloning glitches work from here we want to go into the pokemon and open up another box so we are inside a box inside of a box it's just it's just inception right now it is just inception but uh next step you want to go to your multi-select tool so hit y twice now select every single pokemon that you want to clone in your box every single pokemon that you want to clone in your box so i'm going to go over here grab all these guys and this is where you guys want to have an empty box you're going to slide them over and move them to that empty box we're going to want to move them to that empty box hit a and now we can just back out so now we can just back out so now we back out again and now we get to this screen last step we check summary hit b back out and those pokemon should be cloned alongside with their items do not check their items when you are in this glitch because then it will freeze and you cannot get out of it you're going to have to restart and do this thing all over again so what i like to do is just hit the left bumper check if they're cloned and look at that they're all cloned they are all cloned and now i just want to hit b and back out of this glitch just get out of this glitch make sure that my guy moves around and exit the building just to make sure everything is working right so beautiful everything should be working right if we go back into our box our pokemon should be fully cloned look at that we cloned every single pokemon glitch is done glitch is perfect and you guys can do this as many times as you guys want as many times as you guys want but look at this even better all of our items are cloned it is amazing it is just a lovely little scene it is just a lovely little scene like i said if you guys want to do this do it at your own discretion and make sure you guys are safe before i will actually just cancel out this game because i do not need any of these cloned pokemon and i'm just gonna leave them in the dust i'm just gonna leave them in the dust because Again, I'm not going to save and keep all these guys because they're just a waste of space. But there we go. Now I have two competitive teams with two held items and cloning complete boxes. So you guys can constantly do this glitch. Once you learn it, it's pretty, it's like not hard at all. So like, again, it's kind of like the old one. Once you learn it, you can just constantly do it and constantly clone a bunch of Pokemon. But yo, that's pretty cool that the Pokemon community found out how to clone yet again after they patch it. But I wouldn't be surprised if they clone this one yet or not clone this one. If they uh, patch this one yet again, because it seems like they do not want the cloning glitch to be in the game. So again, I wouldn't be surprised if they uh, patched again. So make sure you guys get your cloning Pokemon in as soon as possible before they patch this one. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did find this informative or just enjoyed the content, make sure you smash that like button. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, you are out of your mind. Click that big red subscribe button and join the community. Also, guys, let me know in the comment section down below other guides you guys would like to see for Pokemon BDSP. But seriously, you guys rock out. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.